Adam's Retro Film Reviews Escape from New York, 1981 New York, 1997 The entire city is a walled maximum security prison The bridges are mined The rivers are patrolled and the United States police force has everything under control, they think. I'm going in. John Carpenter's Escape from New York, the high adventure of the future. One man must go in where no man has ever gotten out. comes back alone, his nightmare has just begun. Who are you? John Carpenter's Escape from New York. Heard you were dead. Recently re-released with a shiny new 4K restoration, Escape from New York is a dystopian sci-fi action film written and directed and notably scored by John Carpenter. Starring Kurt Russell in the lead role of Snake Plissken, Escape from New York depicts a dark future of 1997, where crime has overtaken the United States and forced Manhattan to be walled off from the rest of the world, turning possibly the most expensive piece of American real estate into one massive prison. Whatever your crime, whether you stab a cop or steal a buck, you're shipped off to New York and left to fend for yourself. If you don't choose to euthanize yourself in the processing facility first. It's a grim, dark future and it's about to get even worse. There are several hints that there's an ongoing war between America and its allies and the Soviet Union. And while the president is on his way to a peace summit, Air Force One is hijacked by a terrorist group protesting the fascist police state. Taking control of the president's aircraft, Air Force One crashes somewhere in New York. The president, played by Donald Pleasance, manages to escape certain death but is swiftly captured and hidden by the unhinged prisoners within. Enter Snake Plissken, a decorated war hero with near psychopathic levels of badassery and recent convicts having tried to break into the Federal Reserve. He's well known and catches the attention of Police Commissioner Bob Hawke, played by Lee Van Cleef. Snake is given a choice. Either go into New York and be written off by the world, or go in, rescue the president and get him out within 24 hours and walk free. To stop Snake from just legging it, Hawk introduces a new twist. Two microscopic explosives injected directly into Snake's arteries. If he doesn't get out within 22 hours, boom. So, armed to the teeth, a ticking clock on his wrist and a snarl wider than the Brooklyn Bridge, Snake is sent into New York to save the president. Cause minor property damage and brutally murder some fools, meeting weird and wonderful characters Ernest Borgnine's Cabby, Harry Dean Stanton's Brain and of course Isaac Hayes' The Duke. Escape from New York is many things but action movie it is not. Despite the eye patch wearing anti-hero, despite the guns, the camo and the setup, Escape from New York is actually very reserved in the way it tells the story. To my knowledge, Escape from New York is the only 80s action film I can think of where the hero at one point just sits down and waits for something to happen. See that's the strength of Escape from New York, it's the atmosphere. John Carpenter's dark synth score plods along, almost as reluctant as the hero, while the backdrop of a ruined city lit to perfection. Where schlocky action and terrible effects age badly, the plodding darkness of Escape from New York has a timeless quality and one that's inspired countless films, books, games and more, with the likes of William Gibson, J.J. Abrams and Hideo Kojima openly admitting to the influence Escape from New York has had on them. Kurt Russell's performance as Snake Plissken is the keystone that holds the film together. Modelled somewhere between the exterminator and Clint Eastwood, Snake Plissken is the dictionary definition of badass anti-hero and his look and persona has bled into popular culture, whether you know where it comes from or not. The State of New York has long been a favourite film of mine, and if you want something a little less on the nose than your standard 80s action film, this is absolutely the one. For what it's worth, the recent restoration work on this film is definitive 
It looks and sounds phenomenal, and I urge you to pick it up if you want to experience John Carpenter at his best. John Carpenter's Escape from New York, the greatest escape of them all, is about to blow the future apart. 